Just talk. This is the intro. This is it. Just We're awkward. just gonna cackle. What's going on, guys? Welcome to this week's vlog. I am with Steph once again. Um, this time we're going, <laughs> every time we hang out we do something more ridiculous. Yeah, like, basically. I've told you guys plenty of times that I don't cook things, but I am, we're gonna cook things again. This is like the fourth cooking vlog. We're making gluten-free chicken fingers with honey mustard. Homemade everything, homemade honey mustard, homemade chicken fingers. Yeah. We got the chicken fingers, we got the recipe. We and got we're spices. Gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try not to mess this up. Hopefully we don't screw everything up. <laughs> Alright, so skip step two. <laughs> Recipe's, recipe. recipe's been altered. <laughs> this is well known in this house that I am not a clean cook. Um, Everything gets messy, then we clean up uh, later. Yeah. Large bowl. Large bowl. This whole video is just gonna be spinning around in one place. <laughs> this is this kitchen. It's one side to the other. You just that's what it's actually one cup of this. coconut milk. We're gonna make it. Okay, so Steph's gonna open that. We need a cup of that. Um, here's the recipe. If you guys want to screenshot it. Hopefully you can read it. Coconut milk. All right, so that's where we're at. We're gonna open the chicken strips and then Ooh. combine one cup of it with that, well, that in looks the bowl. Appetizing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> guys, wait. <laughs> guys, wait. Stop right literally just <sighs> coconut milk on her arm Yay. and things. And the floor. <laughs> Well, the floor is not that bad. We can wipe that up. <laughs> Your clothes? Oh, it's well. fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Um, so you guys can see if you got it won't focus. Oh my god, it won't focus. Focus. <laughs> Brown rice flour. <clears throat> um, it's gluten free. Cup and a uh, half. Okay. Teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. Um, onion powder's in. Onion powder's in. Half teaspoon paprika. If you guys can smell this, can you smell it? <laughs> it smells really good. <laughs> we need a half teaspoon of mustard powder. And then the quarter teaspoon, so good thing you have that, of garlic powder. Yeah. Just to mix <laughs> That is the powder. tiniest whisk I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like. a mini whisk. I dare you to lick that, okay. Ew, you lick that. I feel like paprika is not bad. No, no, it tastes like much. Working one at a time, roll the chicken strips in the flour mixture and then place them on the baking sheet. I love chicken fingers. <laughs> Steph loves chicken fingers. <laughs> So a long time ago, we were like, well, what the heck? Like, let's go out to eat, but let's just get chicken fingers. <laughs> like, we were adulting really well. So we just got chicken <laughs> to, fingers. To be fair, we were adulting when we were in high school, so <laughs> it was just kind of Yeah, it was like, high school, but. Let's go, let's go get chicken fingers with honey mustard, because yeah. you can't have chicken fingers without, without honey mustard. Without it, right, right. So we got honey mustard and chicken fingers, and it was wicked good. And this has been like a thing now because we're like, what the heck? Why do we need to be adults when we can have chicken fingers? So really, it's just cooking, right? Yep. So we can start making honey mustard sauce. And uh, guys, it's going to be a while, but we have to make French fries from hand. So uh, from hand. <laughs> these are going to be our from hand. Thumbs up if you want Nate's dad to be in the next video. Smash the like button <laughs> so for my dad to be in the video. Hey, do you know what I learned today? What did you learn today? I've never ever looked at this, so I'm sorry if you guys think I'm an idiot, but like, Orida, Oregon, and Idaho. I thought it was just a brand. Uh, you learn something new every day. <laughs> did you guys know that? Literally, it's like I mean, Orida, the the Oregon, band. and Idaho. Like, that's actually why it's named that. I had no idea. I just thought it was like, that's so I just thought it was special. the name of the French fry. Um, so Steph, yeah, is going to plan on making the honey mustard. I need, um, well, I do some dishes. Garlic. Oh yeah, um, there's got like a there. How much do you need? A clove. There's yeah. I was gonna say like there's like a clove out already. I think, or a piece of a clove. I don't know how much is a clove. So it's fine. Yo, we'll check just... it. Look at look at those mixing skills. <laughs> do you want the whisk? Yeah. Do you want the mini whisk? Yeah, because it's cute. Look at how cute this Minimus. is. Oh, you, you have more things to so wash. So this is homemade honey <laughs> mustard right now. What did you make? What is it, Steph? Honey and mustard and, and garlic. garlic. Yeah, but not like this. It's like a half a cup of honey, a half a cup of mustard, and like some minced garlic. 
Easy. That wasn't minced very well, but it's okay. That was <laughs> minced garlic. That wasn't very minced. That's sh sh that's okay. It's still gonna taste delicious. All that matters is it tastes good, right? Like, it's and gonna if you taste get a piece like honey and mustard. Whatever. So. It keeps the vampires away later. You know, whatever. But it's okay. Fine. Overall, you did an A plus job. Thanks. You do. <laughs> wait, we shouldn't. We should wait till we like. <laughs> until we eat it. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we killed it. We got this one out of the park. <laughs> we don't even know. We haven't even tasted it. Fine. Guys have been in. So far, so good. I mean, listen, cooking with Nate, it's an experience. This is number four, I think, because I did fudge. Oh, well, no, technically number three, because I did fudge, this pasta amatriciana, and then gingerbread houses, but I didn't really make gingerbread houses. That was food, but I, I wasn't cooking anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is number four. Sort of. They've all come out good so far, so let's not ruin the streak. Did you show them? Show them oh, your no, honey I mustard. Didn't show them my honey Steph mustard. made this honey mustard. It's so beautiful. Wait. You can see the gigantic pieces of garlic That's in okay. there. <laughs> Dinner will be ready at 5.15. <laughs> Get ready, wash your hands, okay? Come out and meet me there. All right, so we're doing the, the uh, pinky taste test because we just realized that we didn't taste the honey mustard. And yeah. like, yeah, you gotta do that. Mm. Is it good? Tastes like honey and mustard. Well, that's good. All right, so Steph says it's good. I'll, <laughs> I'll see what she's... Got a little bit of a kick to it. I like it. Probably just the Dijon mustard. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Sweet, I did a good job. Yay! Sweet, but like... Uh, <laughs> sweet with a little tang. That's good. I've seen right, So we just that. took our chicken out of the oven. Look at that. It looks pretty good. It all seems pretty cooked to me. Um, we let the fries go a little bit longer because they're not quite done. They're still kind of yellowy, not quite cold and crispy looking yet. So we could cut into one of these. And yeah, we probably should do that to make sure it's good. That's looking like uh, it's not pink. Cooked chicken to me. No, it looks like cooked chicken to me too. Brilliant. <laughs> cooked. Yum. We are the fanciest chicken and ketchup and honey mustard. All right, guys, smorgasbord complete. Oh, my camera is going to be low battery. Perfect timing. French fries, chicken fingers, honey mustard. <laughs> right, we're going to eat, guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you liked it, leave a like. You want more food vlogs? Because this is like the fourth one, as I said. Crazy. Let me know. We can do more. Should be good. Thanks. See you guys next time.